changes. All right. Now, back to the revised foreign policy. And uh, diaspora is among the seven focus areas um, of this uh, new foreign policy. Kenya's ongoing negotiations for labor agreements and the push to expand labor migration uh, with countries like Canada and the Gulf have raised hope of employment, yes, but also concerns about exploitation and modern slavery. What is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs doing to ensure that labor migration agreements are aligned with international labor standards? I think first to point out that the first focus um, on the part of the foreign ministry is to attract investment to Kenya. Um, and that's why we have invested a great deal in negotiating various economic partnership agreements with different, uh, different regions, first internally within Africa, the Africa continental free trade area with the, with the European Union. Uh, we have entered into an economic partnership agreement, IPA, uh, with the Americans. We are busy negotiating the STEEP, the Strategic um, Trade and Investment you know, Partnership Program. All of these are meant to make it possible for a foreign company to set up in Kenya, employ Kenyans, and export to those markets as if it was purely a Kenyan company. And so, and so that's the first part of call. With regard to labor migration, I think let's admit that because um, our education system, um, courtesy of the investment of government, produces millions of graduates every year, our market, you know, and our private sector, as well as our public sector, cannot provide enough opportunities for our young people. Work. And so it behooves a responsible government to be able to look out for opportunities abroad as well. Um, and in the past, government had not taken um, a very strong stance, you know, in this regard. And therefore, a lot of uh, a lot of individuals, a lot of Kenyans, used to to go to other countries to work without the protection of bilateral labor agreements. Under this administration, the government has done two things. Number one is you know, to dedicate a very specific State Department, the State Department of Diaspora Affairs, you know, to focus on this issue together with the State Department of Labor, working together um, in conjunction with our missions abroad. You know, we are entering into partnerships and, and labor agreements with various countries. These labor agreements set out and stipulate in very clear terms what are the rights uh, of, you know, of, of, of laborers who migrate uh, into those countries, but also what, what their obligations are. And if you look at the new generation of these labor agreements, they are very, very aligned with, with, with our constitution, they're aligned with our labor regulations. Um, and, and therefore, in terms of consistency, I would argue that you know, the, the, car, the, the, the current um, cohort of labor migrants you know, from Kenya would be able to enjoy uh, you know, a wide range of protections, you know, as opposed to those who, for example, went to Lebanon uh, without any safeguards or any protection. But even for those who went under circumstances where they were not well documented or well protected, the Kenyan government is committed to ensuring that their situation is regularized and if peradventure they're in danger, you know, the Kenyan government as well has invested a great deal of resources to ensure that they are repatriated back home. Mm -hmm. All right.